Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I'm going to show you how to make a color changing granny square. I use these all the time for my book sleeves, which I will have a pattern for out soon enough, but for now I will show you how to make the actual granny square. I think granny squares are a great way to start out with crochet if you've never crocheted before or if you have like the basics down. So that's what we're going to be uh, doing today. You will need a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. A pair of scissors, a darning needle or a tapestry needle, and the different color yarns of your choosing. So first of all, we're going to start out with a magic circle. This is where you wrap the yarn around some of your fingers. I do three fingers and you'll make an X facing towards you. On the other side of your hand, the two strands of yarn should be parallel. And then what you're going to do is place your hook underneath the first line, grabbing the second one and pulling it through and up. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to grab all those pieces and there's your magic loop. So first we're going to chain three and this will count as a stitch. Then you will place two double crochets into that magic loop. And now you will chain two and this will be the corner stitch or the, the turning chain for the corners. And now you will place three double crochets and a double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch or the, in this case, a magic circle, yarn over and pull through. You'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And you will do that until you've done three double crochets. This is going to be your cluster. And now you will again chain two. This will be your turning chain. And you're going to place another double crochet cluster. And at this point, I also like to take that short, that short part of the magic circle and I pull it a little bit tighter just so I can get through and I don't have like a bunch of, uh, a bunch of yarn everywhere. So go ahead and place three more double crochets into the magic circle. And then again, chain two for that turning chain. And now you're going to see you have three clusters and we're going to place in our final fourth one. So place three double crochets into the magic circle. Now you will do your last chain two and then slip stitch into the first stitch of your first double crochet cluster. So not the chain three at the beginning, but the first stitch. Once you do that, we will be switching colors. You can switch colors however you want. This is what I like to do. I will also chain one and then I will cut the yarn. This does make it so that you have a lot of ends to weave in, but I don't really mind weaving in ends um, when it comes to granny squares. So you cut your yarn and pull through and just tighten that up. And then where your magic circle was, you're going to take that loose piece of the yarn and pull it as tight as you can. And that is your first round done. For your second color, you will find just one of the corner pieces and you'll be attaching your yarn through the chain two space. 
So what I like to do, it's a very interesting way. I don't know if a lot of people do this, but this is how I do it. I will take my new color and I will wrap it around my hook. I will hold both pieces and then I will pull through to pull up a loop. And then in order to make it so it's just like holding on and it, it's really secure, I will take both of those extra strands and I will chain one with them. And then I will release the short strand. And then I will chain two more. And that does count as your first stitch. So since we're in a corner, we need to do our double crochet cluster. So that's three double crochets. But in this case, you've done your first. Do two more. And then you will chain two, which will be your turning chain, your corner stitch. And then I like to scoot these over and we're going to place another double crochet cluster into that same space. So another three double crochets. While I'm doing this, I'm also crocheting over that, that short strand from the beginning, just so I can have one less tail to weave in at the end. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do. So now you have the first corner done, and we're going to do that same little sequence in every corner for this round. So you will be placing three double crochets into that corner stitch, chain two, and then another three double crochets into that same stitch. Once you reach all the way around, you're going to do the same thing that we did last time. We're going to slip stitch into that first stitch, not the chain three from the beginning, but the first stitch in order to finish this round. And then I also will chain one and then I cut my yarn. For our next color, we will go into another one of the corners and attach your next color as you did from the previous round, wrapping it around your hook Pulling through a loop. Make that first chain with both strands. Go ahead and drop that short strand and then chain two more. And this does count as your first double crochet and place two more double crochet into that same space. And I also will be crocheting over that short piece that we left behind. Make your turning chain of chain two, scoot it over and place three more double crochets into that same space. Once you've done that, we're going to be placing another double crochet cluster into this middle space right here. So again, place three double crochets into that space in the middle. So 
So now you will see we have our corner and that middle piece done. And we're going to jump into the next corner. And you will place three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets into that same corner space. And you're basically going to follow that same pattern all the way around by placing three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the corner, three double crochet into that middle hole, going to the next corner, placing three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, all the way around to the end. I am now currently at that last middle piece, so I am placing three double crochets into that little space. And then I will place my slip stitch into that first stitch of our double crochet cluster, not the chain three, but the first stitch. And you go ahead and place a slip stitch right there. And then chain one, cut your yarn, and then we will move on to the next round. So now we will start the same way we've been starting. We're gonna place our new color into one of the corner spaces. So you'll wrap your yarn around the hook Pull up a loop. Chain your first chain with both loops on the hook. Drop the short strand and chain two more, and that will count as your first double crochet. And then place two more double crochet into that same space. And you're basically just going to follow the same pattern that we've been doing the, all, the whole way around. So the corner spaces will have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And then for the spaces in between the corners, you will place three double crochet in each of those empty spaces. So you can see I haven't chained or anything. I've just gone straight into those spaces by placing three double crochet. And here I will go straight into the next open space, placing three double crochet. And then back into this corner space, we'll place three double crochet, two chains, and then another three double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way around. And just like a the end of the other rows, we will place a slip stitch into that first stitch. So not the chain three, but the first stitch. Place a slip stitch and then chain one, cut your yarn. And that's basically the gist of it. I like to do up to five colors, so I'm going to follow with the same thing with this final color of attaching my new color into one of the corners, chain three, 
two more double crochet. So that makes your first double crochet cluster. Chain two, three more double crochets into the corner. And then every space in between the, the corners are going to have three double crochets. And you'll do that all the way around for as many times as you want. You can change as many colors, make this as big or as small as you want. The process is still the same. And then at the very end, you will connect it with a slip stitch, chain one, and then fasten off your work. The last thing that you will have to do is weave in some ends, which I know there looks like a lot of them, but we did crochet over half of them, so you can go ahead and cut those ones and then weave in all the rest of them. Once you've woven in all of your ends, you will have a finished granny square. These are super quick to whip up and they're super fun. I use them for book sleeves and bandanas and they're also really great for bags, but I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it a lot more simple than it may seem. Um, but I really love making these and I hope that you do too. Let me know what color combos you would use down below and I will see you guys next time.